Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about ideas. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, when someone presents an idea to you as the tech lead that they are excited about and you don't think that the idea is feasible, how would you say that without demotivating the engineer? Well, I would just tell them. Basically, the I am a big, big believer in that. It's better to be transparent and say what you really think and choose the right words to say it than to um, uh, than to not say something and sort of comply or go along with things that you don't truly believe in. It's better to be uh, give people the benefit of the doubt. Uh, benefit of doubt. Uh, so usually what I would say in that sort of situation is that I would explain that I, w I would rather present my viewpoint first and foremost. I would say before we do this I would like to just th ask you a few s questions and then I pose a few questions related to the topic. You don't attack people, or rather I try to not attack people's uh, ideas. I simply ask how, okay, how how is this going to work? Have you thought about this, etc., etc.? And then you waterproof or you check the sturdiness of the idea. Now, even that, I've been in companies which I truly, I truly despise uh, the the uh, the attitude and mindset of the people that I worked with at that time, uh, because basically, when you did something something like that what would happen would be would uh, be that you would be pulled to into a meeting or to a separate room and then told that you know when you're asking people all these questions related to the ideas it makes them demotivated and i go well surely we have to check whether or not an idea how like if we have thought about the different cases before we go and say yes we'll do this thing uh, rather, because it seems to me as if the idea is that any idea is good as long as it's not something that sh the managers f feel something about, which basically means that you do whatever the fuck anybody has as an idea, and that leads to other sorts of problems. I mean, uh, for me, this is a very obvious thing, but sometimes it's difficult for people to realize that asking questions related to somebody's idea because people are so so insecure sure, truly that a simple question uh, like how would you do a b or c is seen as an attack the problem is that you ca you have to find that balance at, at least that well, that's what i believe between allowing so you know to to just keep your mouth shut and let people do whatever the fuck they want and asking them questions such as these and i favor Basically, the uh, thing that I've learned, and this is sad, but it is true, there is a saying stating that uh, the uh, if you can't say something that adds value, keep your mouth shut. And I've found that to be increasingly true, where most people, like, uh, it's actually insane, but the fundamental truth of the matter is that people are more okay with dealing with the consequences of bad decisions than they are being criticized or asked to think ahead. What that basically means is that sometimes uh, or most of the time it is better for you to let people fail even though you know they're gonna fail than it is for you to be uh, to be smart before they have realized the same thing. Because when you tell them what's going to happen, or when you sort of have an idea how things are going to go, they're going to hate you for it, or they're going to resent you, because they they can't understand that you're trying to actually ask whether or not they have thought about things. And maybe they haven't, but because they are ignorant in a way that is so frustrating, they will not see that. It's sort of like your children f uh, telling you to go fuck yourself when you're trying to tell them that, you know, maybe investing all your money into Bitcoin is not the smartest idea in the world because it's a big gamble, etc., etc. Uh, they, they're not interested in listening to you. 
and sometimes as I said the best option is to just kind of let them do things I try as I said I try to just start by explaining my viewpoint but let's say for the sake of argument that I know that this is something that I can I can I, I don't have to say no but I can make it I can reduce the impact of something that I don't truly believe in which is basically by saying that well I might not feel like this is the best idea in the world or like I'm I would have preferred us going in a certain in a different direction but if the rest of the team feels that this is something you want to try out then maybe you can do a small experiment in this area so you give them a sandbox you give them somewhere to sort of play around and try out the idea and maybe you you also I mean I mean I'm not perfect maybe it turns out that I'm wrong about this thing and it's actually not that it's a good idea you know and so you allow them to have a little bit of experimentation sometimes they have ideas which won't be possible to experiment with and in that sort of case in those situations you talk until someone gets a epiphany or you have to sort of pull rank in some cases and say you know uh, I think that we've reached a decision and the decision is that we are going to go in a different direction but as for demotivating people as I said guys some people are so sensitive that anything less than full enthusiasm is going to be a demotivator and you can't con I, um, uh, it's once again what I believe I don't give a shit at all if someone that sensitive gets demotivated or not because the only people I respect are people who are uh, who are intelligent uh, and uh, rationally thinking people who understand that yes you can have an idea and it's great that you have ideas but you also have to understand that there are pros and there are cons with everything that you do and if that is something that emotionally demotivates you well then it's sort of an indicator that maybe because there's a big difference between having someone who is always negative or like someone who's shooting down your ideas and having justification and like rational arguments as to why you believe in something and people who don't feel the need to have rational logical uh, uh, arguments for why they want to do things they are very uh, they are usually driven by emotional matters and emotions have no place in engineering it is about execution and the, uh, sure we can talk about like the philosophical aspects of it but at the end of the day uh, at least I don't respect people who act upon uh, emotion without ever tw thinking twice or like anything like that and that's maybe just me but I've always found that the only time the irrational, irrational people who only can feel comfortable with like full support they're actually not the people with the good ideas usually they are the people who are uh, who who need something else indulging them is not about doing what's great what's best for everybody indulging them is you know, just basically bridging their own insecurities and you see that a lot today and my argument it started with the customer is always right and today we have fake outrage to the point where we're crippling the entire society that we built because no one can ever 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 be told that maybe that is not a good idea so what I want you to take away from this is that when I try to tell a software developer and engineer that I don't believe in their idea I usually try to say it in the nicest way I can I usually say that I present my counter arguments I don't ever go like oh that's a bad idea and I do, as I said like because that is the thing I'm fighting I try to explain rationally these are my points can you please explain to me sort of how you think about those points and then I give them I, I try to really listen to them what are their counterpoints to what I have to say and as I said some people can't even handle that and these people I don't care about whatsoever because the, the at the end of the day we work as software developers Ration, rational thought has to be the most important thing for for us and I argue it should be that all the way up in society because the problem comes when very emotionally driven people get into these contests about who is the loudest voice and who has the most emotion who has the most right you get into these weird situations where people who have 
no arguments, no rational, logical reason for doing what they're doing. It's all based on emotions, traditions, and uh, prejudices, etc., etc. That, that we that's that's where we get all these issues, right? And I'm very happy to say that for the most part, software developers are very rational people. So usually, what happens is that the software developer explains, "Well, I want to do A, B, and C because it's going to improve this, so it's going to do this better, etc., etc." And then if I still don't feel like no actually these are not very strong arguments I can I try to be a diplomat and I try to say all right if the rest of the team thinks that this is something we should try out let's try it out on small scale first and then you can prove that this is something that holds water and let's take it from there it's very rare that you get to the point where you have to say sort of pull rank or something like that and say that no we can't do this because the investment is too big or so forth and so forth uh, and as I said in some cases it is actually better to because a lot of people that's it, just what I found most people are more capable of dealing with you know things going to shit and then feeling sorry over that things went to shit than they are able to foresee what's going to happen down the road which is sort of like that foresight is a lot harder to find in people than it is to find people who can just sit and feel sorry with everybody else that same things fell to fell apart and if you are able to sort of have that foresight sometimes you have to just realize that you're not going to be able to convince people that this is a bad idea it's if you can only do damage control and that's why I tell people convincing someone from you know making the big investment to just making a small experiment to prove the concept before they get to go all go all in is sometimes the best way for you to find a diplomatic solution to these sorts of issues have a great day